Another day, another video, another reaction to Kevin Samuels. I think in this video he humbles her because her expectations for what she wants is much out of place for what she's offering. I think that's the premise of this video. So let's react. So in your no. face, one to ten, you cannot use seven. Fresh face, no makeup, right out of the shower. Six. That's, come on now, come on now. I'm a, come on, uh, give me something now. Uh, I'm Smith? just, I'm, I'm not saying, we've already gone beyond. And see, the thing is, one of the problems that I find with many modern women is you guys lack self-awareness and humility. I mean, it's just, y'all are just like the, y'all are. See, that's what, see, that's what I was afraid of. And I was afraid of. And her reaction actually confirms to you the reason why he's right, because they're so used to just hearing things that they like hearing. They don't want to hear anything that goes against the pleasant feeling that they have. You know, the self-perception is based on just some airy, fairy fantasy, just picking and choosing how they want to view themselves rather than how it actually is in real reality. So in many ways, I would actually agree with what he's saying. And that's why she reacted in that way. She's like, oh, you know, because she takes that into other areas of life too. And I wanted to put a disclaimer out before you connected with me, because I pray every day that I work on my attitude, that I work on how I'm being perceived. Um, I try not to talk as much when I'm out in public. I try to ask questions and just not waste too much air and too much breath. So I'm, I'm, I feel I'm very aware of how I act and how others perceive me. And I don't, I, trust me, I, I pray up and down that I do not be one of And before we get his take, I would say that's actually an admirable trait. Like to even get that far, especially when you're surrounded by so many women who don't actually want to do that. I would actually say that's respectable. God ain't got nothing. Okay. Okay. But if you want to be married. Okay. And you know men are visual. Yes. I know they're visual. Maybe this, maybe this. No, no, no. I need you to listen. I need you to listen. Okay, I'm listening. You, you're praying that a man accepts you the way you are. Okay, that yeah, might be true. You're right. That means, that means, that means the kind of man you want would have to settle. Ooh, Okay. I mean, I'm listening. You, I'm listening to a woman who says, I, I, I've been in this. And she's trying. It's very hard for her to just stop and listen. But at least, at least she's trying the best of her ability. But what he said just seems like common sense to me. If you're not going to work on yourself for the person, then that means the person has to settle. That just seems like simple logic to me. This room, I've been in this room. When I was in my 20s, when I looked a certain way, I got this. But in the last 16 years, it's just been whatever. No, no. Like two. Two years. Two years. I've been under construction. Two years. I've been under construction. I've been single for two years. I've been under construction. How long was your last relationship? Seven years. Why didn't you guys get married? He wanted to marry me. I don't. I wasn't in love with him. I was not well, in love with him. <laughs> so you spent seven years with somebody. That... I, I found out some things about him. In year one or year seven? In year seven. Then you, that makes no sense. No matter how you slice it. <laughs> and, you know, I see so many examples of this, right? It could be a girl saying, oh, he treated me like this. He treated me like that. And you're like, how long did were you with them? Five years. So he's treated you like that for, for, for how long? Four years. But why didn't you leave? Oh, it's hard. Just a bunch of excuses. <laughs> a bunch of excuses. Doesn't make sense. That makes no sense. And was he a millionaire? He was. A, he, he, I'm not going to say he was a millionaire, but I've seen, but he was a general contractor. The business was making millions. The business was making the business millions. business ain't Okay, but that doesn't mean, okay. Uh, that's so, all I'm saying. So yeah, you don't, so, so this man wanted to marry you. But I felt he was a homosexual. That's why I, uh, on the low, that's why I didn't want to, I didn't want to sleep with him. I, and this I is your that, boyfriend, right? This was my boyfriend. And in year seven, I suspected homosexuality and I didn't want to deal with it. Oh, Lord Jesus. Lord I know. Mercy. You're I going know. to world star. You are good. You are outside of your ever-loving mind. 
I'm just telling you. Asking yeah, you're seven. You're seven. So you're one through six. There was some time apart. <laughs> that comes to the end of the video, but that's actually, it's just amazing the deflection, the ref, um, the deflection with no true reflection, you know, no accountability, no nothing, just no accepting reality for what it actually is. There's always a reason, there's always a, something to say. And I feel like many women, women would actually be much happier if they just accepted reality. It's hard at first, I guess, for a lot of people, which is why they don't do it. But if you just accept reality, there's so much possibilities that lie ahead. Her um, self-awareness and her self-improvement would advance much more quicker if she just took total accountability. She said, you know what, seven years, messed up. It took me seven years to leave. Shouldn't have done that. Should have left, left from the first one, from the first six months, maybe even the first date and so on. Because if he was giving off you know, gay vibes, then guarantee he was doing that earlier on, but why didn't she leave? And so on, right? But there's just so many reasons why there is power in just trying to look at things as true as possible. And it seems like it's difficult for many people to do, which is why Kevin Samuels even existed as a big figure. But anyway, I want to know what you think. So comment down below, let Remus know, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.